Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. I'm in the shack, last day of vacation. Fixing to do a little update video for you. Uh, filmed a few things earlier of where we are on the tower. Uh, so figured I'd give you an update. Here we go. All right, y'all, sorry these pictures are a little grainy. Um, wanted to give you an update of where we are and i know it's going to be hard to see in this picture but of course here's the shack here's the tower here's the hinge base plate and i got some zoomed in pictures we have this tower uh fastened to a winch and a pulley i'm gonna flash another picture here in a second but the pulley is right at the peak of the roof of the of the shack about 13 feet up in the air so when it lays over it lays over this way I'll get you some better pictures let's see uh, here is the pulley that's on the peak of the house so you can see we got a fairly large diameter cable that's uh, that's holding that up we I made a made a brace that sets this up a little bit higher it's been lagged into the roof on this side and the other side this is tightly screwed into the to the to the bracket I guess you could say with the pulley this shows you back behind the shack found this very large oak tree and this is a 5,000 pound winch that has a remote control all this is this is the leg of one of the current antennas or the base for the uh, antenna that's holding the antenna but you can see the the cable it comes back here to the shack here's another picture of the pulley where it's attached right here in three places to the tower let's see what else did i take for you oh here's a close-up of it tied so it's tied here here and then when it pulls taut, this also grabs. So it's on all three legs coming back. Oh, let me show you. This was, uh, here's me and Dave. We're, we're, we've got it cinched up and uh, we're, we're working. Uh, I like my hard hat that was donated by Jason. Thank you, buddy. Here you go. Dave with the level again. Here's me probably lying about something I don't know what I'm, oh you know what I had the winch control in my hand we were adjusting the, the tightness of the of the cable so that's what I was holding up there all right let me show you this video of the tower going up and down with the winch now I was I was a little bit out of range and so it was it was stuttering now if I stand over here or back over here behind the chicken coop, uh, it doesn't stutter. So it's definitely you definitely don't want it stuttering when we have the rest of this tower uh, all, all together because that'll be too much weight for that to happen. Uh, but let me play this video for you real fast and we'll come, come back and uh, tell you a little more about it. All right, real quick video to just show you where we've got it so far. This is the remote. I'm a little bit out of distance. It won't be doing this when we have the full tower out. So my apologies. I had to back up a little ways to get y'all in the get the whole thing in the shot. So here we go with it going back in. I'm going to put pictures of the pulley system up for you. But you can I had a feeling this remote wouldn't work very far, but we have a switch for it also. So there it goes. And normally if you're a little closer it doesn't stutter, but there it goes and it's there. So just wanted to show you where we were so far. All right. So the only thing, well, we're needing two things right now. Um when you put one of these towers on the hinged bracket one of two things must occur you either have to buy the bracket that affixes the tower to the wall of the building it's near 
or you have to guy wire it in order to stabilize it. So if you did not have the hinge plate, you could bury the base of this however far the manufacturer recommends in the ground, and it would be freestanding. Um, but since we opted with the hinge plate, because my fat ass is not going to climb this tower when I want to service it or add an antenna, um, I wanted it to lean. So, um, and it's hard to tell in this picture just because of the shape of the, uh, well, the, the, the picture is, is pretty deceiving. But this pole and this pole are not parallel with the face of the building. This one sticks out about five inches more. Because of the way I wanted to lay this pole down in my driveway um, to get the, the most amount of distance, we are, we are having to fabricate our own bracket to mount it to the side of the shack here. So one of the guys in the group, his name is Paul. He is a metal fabricating genius, and uh, he came out yesterday took some measurements and he's going to be uh, making the, the, the plate and the, the bracket this week. All welded, all thick steel, all it's going to be sandwiched inside and out between the studs of the shack right in from the edge all the way over to here and it'll have arms that come out to here and then from this over to the shack we'll be able to tweak them to, to make sure we're still in level. And in all honesty, I'm probably still going to throw some guy wires up uh, about 40 feet, 45 feet up, just for that extra stability. Um, since this is close to my chickens, it's close to my house, um, I, I just want to take all precautions I can. So we're going to do the bracket and some guy wires. Then the other piece that we're waiting for, and sorry this is kind of boring with just one picture. You know what, I'll flash... Let me, let me fla I'll flash uh, my ugly mug up there. Let's see. Let's put my, where it looks like I'm working. There we go. Um, they got my best side, the back. Um, the, the other thing we're waiting for is I needed a, the 7 8 Heliax um, female in connector. I ordered it off of Amazon Waited a week and a half and then got an email saying, well, we lost your, your shipment. Here's a refund. So now I've got to go re, uh, reorder the female in for the, the 7 8 inch Heliax. Um, and then we'll have this up. But uh, I'm, I, I've, I've got a lot of traveling I've got to do for work. And Dave, another one of the brains of the, of the, of the group, um, he's, he's, knee deep in it at work and so it'll it'll be a couple of weeks before we get it up and going uh plus we need the bracket and the and the connector for the heliac so that's where we are that's update number two and um let me know what you think if you think my pulley system sucks or if you think there's something else i could do better let me know um but we had we had dave out at the house we had bill out at the house jason paul we had all of our brains in on this, and uh, these guys, I couldn't do it without them. Good, good, group of, good group of guys that I'm with. Tony came out today to take a peek at it and said it looked pretty good. So we're, we're feeling good about this guy, just, just waiting on a few parts. So I hope you enjoyed the update. I hope you all have a great day. Back to the grind for me tomorrow. I had a wonderful vacation. I hope, uh, I hope this helps some of you all, maybe encourages you to put your own tower up. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great evening.